Welcome to Invest Insights. I'm Abby Maloney. I'm joined today by Dr. Rhett Brown, the president of Wingate University. Welcome, Rhett. Hi there. Thanks for having me, Abby. Of course. You know, when we spoke with you for our Invest Charlotte publication, you spoke about having 1,750 students living on campus this past fall, but having fewer um, in spring as you try to de-densify uh, the, the, the campus for uh, potential quarantining. While the transformation is ultimately a benefit for increasing health and safety amongst your students, how have they and the parents responded to this decision to limit on-campus housing? Good question. Um, for us, at least, it, it, it helps that the fall semester to spring semester enrollment naturally goes down. Uh, we have a fair number of students who will graduate in December, uh, so they will have graduated in December. Uh, in the fall and so won't be with us when when we return in the spring we have a handful of students that will regularly transfer and I think because uh, almost 50 percent of our undergraduate classes are entirely online because of COVID uh, we had some students that if their schedule uh, warranted their ability to stay home they decided to do that so we were able to I think we're in the 1500 range. And so what we did with the attrition, we had to move some people around to create better, more effective quarantine and isolation spaces. And, and while you, uh, students and families can get a bit grumpy about that, they know that we're doing the best we can to preserve the, the student experience. And so they've all been good sports about it and worked with us. So we're fortunate that way. It's good to hear. What have been the most glaring challenges to try and create safer on-campus mm. uh, classrooms, housing, a safer environment overall? Well, uh, we're all social creatures uh, to begin with, and nobody more so than college students. And uh, ours is a residential model, so I think just our model itself uh, and who our students are and, and what they hope to experience at this time in their life uh, has been the greatest challenge. Uh, I think we're all suffering from a bit of coronavirus fatigue, uh, but if we can, you know, if we can wear our mask, if we can follow the protocols, if we can keep as much distance as possible, wash our hands frequently, be outside when we can, uh, open the windows, uh, we're doing all that we can and, and combining that with, with frequent testing and tracing. And so uh, it's just, it's, it's just hard. You know, everybody's struggling with the same thing, no matter the industry or the sector. Uh, and I think it's just a challenge with any group, but most everybody's had a good spirit and, and realized what's at stake. Uh, so everybody has had a, a good attitude and, and, and done their part. Wingate University put revising their strategic plan on pause for a year due mm. to the ramp up in efforts to tackle COVID-19. When the university does revisit the strategic plan, what will be some of the transformations to the plan mm. to better the school for the long-term future? Well, I think like everyone else, you know, diversity and equity inclusion issues are, are preeminent for us right now. And so we're redoubling our efforts in that space uh, to ensure educational equity uh, for all students that we serve and, and to take care of our employees and our partners in the right way as well. So I'm sure that a renewed effort in the DEI space will be a part of our ongoing plans. Um, people in the area will know that uh, the Monroe Expressway uh, connecting uh, Charlotte uh, to our part of the region was completed a number of years ago. And as a result, we bought a lot of land uh, that we have the opportunity to do some economic development with uh, the county economic development organization and our, our town government. Uh, so that will be a part of, of, of some upcoming planning. And then, you know, to keep the student experience at the, at the center of what we do. And for us, that's both success how we measure student success in small ways and in outcomes once they leave us, and, and then also in their satisfaction. You know, we ask students who graduate in a poll that we do, we ask them, if you had it to do all over again, uh, would you choose Wingate again? Uh, and until we can get that number to 100%, uh, we've always, uh, we always have some room for improvement there. Over the last year, how has technology permanently transformed and changed higher education? And how do you believe that these technological transformations will better prepare students for today's more and more digital economy? Right. Uh, I've said a few times now, I think there are two outcomes uh, from, uh, from COVID that will be beneficial to us on the other side of this. Uh, number one is we accelerated our, our utilization of technology uh, way beyond what we probably would have done left to our own devices. Uh, and the second thing that I think will benefit us is that 
the desire for uh, learning in community uh, will be stronger than it has been uh, in recent years. And I think those two things combined together provide us a really rich opportunity to adapt technology to enhance the learning environment. I heard Biz Stone, one of the founders of Twitter one time say that, that technology exists to uh, amplify the human experience, not replace it. And so I think we want to do the same. How do we leverage technology to amplify the learning that happens on this campus? And that's by and large a human experience. So I think that will be a good outcome. And in terms of how it will benefit our students long term, uh, uh, you know, it's when you use technology, you become better at its utilization. And so that will, I know that I'm better on Zoom uh, now than I was this time last Aren't year. We all? So I think just <laughs> yeah, exactly, I think just good application. It's almost like having an internship in technology uh, this period. So I believe that's going to have individual and collective benefits for us all. And this year has been transformative in so many ways, but. Uh, leaders have really been pushed to transform themselves. Can you comment mm. on how this year has transformed you? Good question. I think uh, probably uh, learning to be patient about many of the challenges that we face, um, understanding that while we are, uh, we may be currently involved in the, in the present crisis that is uh, commanding our attention at that moment. We also, a few of us need to be thinking about the future and the next opportunity and the next crisis. So that's been a good lesson for me. And, and I would say the other thing is uh, I've always had at my core being relatively a, a grateful person, uh, but I've tried to practice gratitude uh, more regularly uh, during COVID. And I think that's just a, a good exercise for me personally and, and, and add some value to both my work life and my personal life. Um, and I will say thank you to you, uh, Dr. Rhett Brown, the president of Wincate University. My name is Abby Maloney. You've been watching Invest Insight. Rhett, thank you again. Thank you. Hey everyone, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel so that you can stay up to date on the latest business trends from our knowledgeable experts. Be sure to check out the description below for more information on the segment you just watched. Thanks for tuning in.